What does the giant smell? Uh, 8.22, remember this. First ever voice on Brookside wasn't one of the actors. It was a guy called John Kennedy. Not to be confused with Johnny, but John Kennedy. The scene was a milkman pulling up, and on the radio was BBC Radio Merseyside, and the presenter, John Kennedy. So there you are. Well done, Andy Ball, for that little stat. Uh, thank you for putting the phones into Meltdown this morning. You're ringing and you're asking for that great piece of acting where they find the body. Here it is again. Hey, Kim Buckley, how do we do it now? Uh, keep it down, love. Zimbabwe's got something stashed down here. Come on, pull it up. What is it? What is it? Uh, 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 it's, it's, it's classic, isn't it? it is. I mean, it's there. It's all. <laughs> it's Nick, can you believe it? 30 years since Brooks that first came to our screen. It's a hand. Uh, the soap was groundbreaking for its time. It really was. And it was the flagship production for the new Channel 4. It ran for 21 years. At its peak, it was bringing in viewing figures of over 9 million. That's almost the same as Strictly gets now on a Saturday night. Well, our man in the van, Jim. Jimmy McCracken is out of the famous cul-de-sac for us this morning. Good morning to you, Jim. Morning to you, Tony. I'm on Brookside Close mm -hmm. with uh, one of the stars of, of Brookside, Suzanne Collins, who played, of course, the lovely Nikki Shadwick. And Suzanne, we heard John Kennedy, the first voice. Who was the last voice to be heard on Brookside? I think it was my voice, honestly, as we drove off in a cab, yeah. Um, we drove off in a limo, ten hours, ten hours driving the limo, me and Jimmy. Really? And, um, yeah, it, it wasn't, it wasn't not, like, on me, but it was my voice, yeah. Oh. And you just seen Game Over, all the, um, all the windows are boarded up, do you remember? It was painted yeah. and you do Game Over, which is um, very poignant because it was Game Over. Very yeah. Over. It was Game Over, but uh, you were you were in there for many years. I were they, were you, you were a young actress. Was it your first acting job? Seen yeah, it was. It was fit, yeah. I mean, I'd always done like, school plays and college plays, but it was my first professional job, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be on the telly. Kept thinking they made a huge mistake, and then um, they were going to kill me off all the time. I kept thinking, because she was a student, she's going to get um, taken off to um, university in China, never to be seen again. And Phil Redman was very, very kind to me. I had loads of lovely storylines, and I was there right to the end, and I'm really, um, really proud to have been a part of it. I so, had a wonderful time there. So, happy memories. They didn't kill you off. They did loads of things to you. We'll talk about them <laughs> in a second. But what was it like working as a, as a young actress, a slightly younger actress than you are now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> correct that. Uh, with, with all those experienced actors, with, with, with Ricky and all the others. Amazing, amazing. Um, I was in complete and utter awe. I remember going, oh my gosh, they're Sinbad. They're Sinbad, they um, and they were all like welcoming with open arms. I mean, um, Dean Sullivan, the lovely Jimmy Corkle. I mean, all of them, um, every single one of them, I learned wonderful things from. Um, and it was like coming to a big family. And it wasn't just the actors either, it was the writers, the cleaners. I'm just looking at our old canteen now. Um, I used to run down here with my hair so come wet. And then, you know, we, we'd all be met with hugs and breakfast. And um, it's just a joy coming to work. Well, let's, let's just go for a little walk. Because I mentioned Ricky, but there was Sue, and there was Ethna, and there's Stevie Pinder, yeah. uh, who were great actors and all that. So we're standing here now. Let's cross over, Suzanne. Yeah. We're going to stand here now. And this is a real life estate now. There's a fella there just just Jenny, all the holes his... have been filled in. You couldn't get wires in now. It's just like the real proper houses, the real humans living in them. Even and the canteen's got people living in them. And you remember, you remember our Jenny Lee Summers, don't you? Of course I do. Yeah, we played mates and I think we were at the same party where she went off with tennis, yeah. Yeah. So we're right to the corner now by the sign Brookside Close. So just point out, I mean, there's there's one, two, three, there's five or six detached houses. There's a couple of semis and there's the bungalow. Which one mm. is yours? Um, well, I went in a few. Those, there's two houses which were like one was one was where we had our wardrobe and makeup, and the other one was like our can. That one was our canteen. Um, and that one with the makeup is that where that lady's that just lady come out now? Come out, yeah, she's yeah. Come out, she's just come out of our gainer's wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's crazy, that isn't it? And what's the one next door with that woman's uh, looking at us through the, the blinds, the doing it, doing a careless? The, there's a woman putting careless in right <laughs> now, is, yeah. and she was. Um, that was. Um, that was where we got changed. We got there was no star system. There was a girls' changing room. There was a boys' changing room. Next one along was the um, canteen. Next one along was the Johnsons, where um, Nikki Shadwick got. Um I don't think I want to say it on no, more. No, no, no. Let's, just, let's just walk across here. What, what, this is the one coming out the corner now. House. This, this house here. Morning. Hi, oh, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> is yeah, Suzanne. I'm, I'm Jimmy McCracken, Radio Mercy Side. This is Suzanne Collins. Hi, yeah. Who is Nikki Shadrick. What's your name? Do you mind? Uh, Lee. Lee. And what's your name, darling? Lee. Uh, oh, two Lees, lovely. Lee. Um, a boy Lee and a girl Lee. Do, what's it like living here on Brookside, you, which was part of Merseyside District? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. 
Do you get many people like me coming around poking their nose in trying to... You get a lot of people, like, turn up all the time, like, they come from London and everywhere, yeah. you know, just like Crazy, that. Crazy, isn't it? And I remember they used to, like, camp out. Like, someone come on the holidays once. I was like, I said, I didn't believe them. They were, like, sat at the top, like, there's little um, security gates yeah. at the top. Yeah. And they come away from Scotland. Did you watch the show when you were growing up yourself? Like? Yeah, I watched it a lot, yeah. <laughs> it was a bit weird living in there, like, Jimmy Corkill's house, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll make you a cup of tea. Is that the one that... <laughs> it was, it was Corkill's? This is the Corkill's house. Yeah, I lived there as well, yeah. Right. That's right. really, that's right. last house. I I remember it. I'm telly. <laughs> uh, she was lovely then, even lovelier now. Yeah. Now, li listen a little, Lee. Uh, uh, what school do you go to, Lee? St. Anne's. So you're going to school now. This is all wasted on you. But it is. You know, you know, little know? girls, eh? How old are you, Lee? Ten. You're oh. ten. So you won't even remember, will you? Do you watch Hollyoaks? So, so the same people that, that, made, that make Hollyoaks used to make Brookside here. Yeah. And this used to be a film set where you and, and your dad live now. Yeah, she doesn't realise. No, I brought my little girl in. I was going, this is this where Mummy thinks it's like, this is where he's working with on the telly. Yeah. They're just not bothered. You what? know, when it comes back on, like, DVD, she'll be able to see it, then, you know, like, what it was all about and things yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, nice talking to you. I'll let oh, you go, get off to school. All right, day. thanks. Yeah. So, there are, you see, it was, many people thought it was, it was real life, and, and in some ways, Brookside is still living on, Suzanne. It's did did, did you think it would have a legacy so long after? Um, it's, it's, it's just the power of the media, and it's mad, isn't it? And I, I am still surprised that people still remember. And I tell you, I, I used to think that, like, my mum and my mates had told them, do you know what I mean? They go, no, no, I remember, yeah, I remember, like, you know, remember Brookside. And especially if you go away yourself from home. So I suppose our accents and stuff, so that people go, Brookside, 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 and they oh, yeah, I'm dead proud to be part of it. Just before we hand back to Tony, there's one question I, I've got to ask you. What was the attraction for Nicky Chadwick in Dean Sullivan? Or was it just the fact that it was called Jimmy? <laughs> I think it was the name, Jimmy. I had to try to. <laughs> oh, lovely Dean. Yeah, lovely Dean. He's brilliant. Um, I don't know. She's she been through a bad time, hasn't she? She's a bit measy, wasn't she? So, um... Oh, you never know. <laughs> All right, well, be, be, before we go, you, we want, you want us to say a quick hello to, to JLS and to your dad. Yeah, I want to say good morning, Dad. Yeah, good morning, Andrew. They're both listening now. Love you millions. And um, I'll see you in a bit. Happy Friday. Okay. And Jenny Lee Summers, Suzanne remembers you well. Oh, uh, yeah. How are you, Jen? Yeah, yeah she's, she's sort of the travel out. She'll be in in a minute, but thanks very much. It was happy, happy days, wasn't it, Jen? Brilliant times. That's Suzanne Collins back home on Brookside Close. Tony. Jimmy, uh, the ultimate aim when Brookside first started was to look like Damon Grant. And I'm going to throw, and I know you, you were the same, Jim, in the days when you had a, um, uh, what was it called? A wedge, a wedge. A wedge and the fringe. Yeah, I mean, uh, Stan Smith's. Exactly. White t-shirt, sky blue Slazenger v-neck jumper, bleached jeans, white kickers or samba. Yeah. That was the way, mate. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the, big, the big decision at the weekend was whether to wear your lowest jeans jeans or your second image? Ah, uh, you see, I went for Razzie. Ah, oh, Razzie, yeah. I went for Razzie, mate. And the posh kids had Inigo. Inigo, I, they were the ones from Wilton. Cheers, Jim, we'll see you later Thanks, on. Thanks, Tony. There he goes, there's uh, Jimmy and Suzanne. Sounds like an American sitcom, that really, doesn't it? It's uh, 8.37.